the file save as dialog box. Every time that you access the fi file save as dialog box, which is a box that opens when you click file save as in any program, it opens like this. And I want you to do a few things every time you open a file save as dialog box. I want you to expand this PC with this arrow on the left so that you can see um, all the drives under here. I want you to click your M drive and that way M will show up in this path box. And I want you also to adjust I don't want to come to your desk and see that you can't see all your drives. So there's a little line. It's practically invisible. You have to hover with your mouse around until you get this double-headed arrow. And then you click and you hold and you drag over. So open this up enough to see all your drives. I want you to make your window go to your lower right corner and just make your window, you know, a good size so that you can see everything. Okay, so I'm going to close this. So every time you have your dialog box, so you only have to do it once usually, actually, when you get started on an application. Make sure that you click the arrow beside this PC to expand all the available drives. Expand and see all of them. Adjust the size using that double-headed arrow on the lower right corner and adjust the size of the navigation pane by dragging the border between the navigation pane and the content pane here. You have to hover to find it. Uh, so do that so that you can see everything. Number two, can you navigate to the M drive using the left pane or the right pane? And the truth is that you can, but for now I want you to navigate through here, the navigation pane. I will show you, though, that if we browse, and if we had just this PC, and uh, you saw this, you can see the drives over here. And I could get to my M drive this way, but for now, I'd like you to go this way through the navigation pane itself. But the answer is a yes. How do you know you are saving in a folder saved on the M drive? So I'm actually going to switch for a minute here to WordPad. And the reason is because we're going to be working on WordPad for this first set of exercises. So we're going to, uh, let's say we have our favorite food and just type something fast. And then we save as. I'll save as again because this is a different application. I need to make this a little bit bigger so that I can see all my drives. And... Um, I just want to uh, see this here. How do you know you're saving in a folder? So if you have a folder that you want to save in, I'm going to switch back to WordPad. So I want to save on my M drive. So I click my drive, it goes up into the path box. But I also want to save into a main folder. And in my case, I want to save into my junk folder. And the reason I know that when I finish, and there's three steps, I have to set my path. Today we're going to go into a folder, but I'm just going to, I'm going into the practice folder for now. And when I double click on the practice folder here, Watch, the name will come up here into the path, and that shows you that what you're looking at is a subfolder called Practice. It's inside my junk folder, which is on my M drive. So this is set, step one is set your path. Step two is to click down here where the file name is. Do not save a file with this name document. Okay, you need to click in there, and then you need to put a, a descriptive label in here for your file name. So this is my favorite food. 
Notice that it's going to make this an RTF file. That's the extension. It will put the extension on for you. Don't type it. And I will save this. And I want to show you. Uh, people, beginners like to reopen this to see if it's already open. And go through here and open it. But I don't want you to do it that way because sometimes that gets you into trouble because it's already open. It doesn't want to open another file of the same. It, it doesn't like that, so it will force you to open it as a read-only. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to open our File Explorer window. Now, just to remind you, you can come through here. It opens. I want to check, is my file there? Go to my M drive. I go into my junk folder. And I go into my practice folder. And there it is. Now, if I'm still a little uncertain and I want to peek, if I just want to peek and see what's in there, I'm going to come to View. And my preview pane, it says select a file to preview. I click here once, not twice. I don't want to open it. And there is what's in my file. It's just that one word. So I'm looking good. This is all good. I'm just going to minimize that. Okay, so you know if you're saving into a folder if you see it on the path bar. And there are three steps. The top of the dialog box has this path box. Set your path. Step two, click into the file name. Type it. Step three, click the Save button. And uh, this is an example of a full path. It always starts with the drive letter, followed by a colon, followed by a backslash. Here's my main folder. In this case, I don't have a subfolder, and I know that because I don't have, I don't, ha this is right this next section is right before the extension, and that is my file name. And then it's followed by the extension. So the file name in this example is Windows 10 Investigation. The software that was created by now, we know that docx means it's created by a newer version of Word, like Word 2016. So that's the extension. It includes the period. So this, sooner or later, would be on a test, just so you know. If it asks you for the full path, you're doing the path, the main folder, the subfolder, the subfolder, however many there are. And then you have file name, the extension. OK, and uh, last question was an example of a popular audio file extension, and that would be MP3.